Oh my God, that looks amazing. <gasps> wow. Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel, all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today, I have something very exciting that just came in the mail a couple of days ago, and I have been vying to open this so bad for so long. This is the brand new Sailor Moon Eternal glass kaleidoscope. So this is a really, really cool piece because it's an original work created by a world famous kaleidoscope creator named Koji Yamami, who has won numerous awards at kaleidoscope world competitions. This released on Premico back in December of 2020 and it cost 29,800 yen. So about $290, maybe a little bit less than that USD. So mine just arrived and I really wanted to open it up on camera camera and give you a first impression and also let you see the inside of it. Hopefully I can get a recording of it on camera without it looking weird. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open it and let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's so interesting. You know, I was kind of expecting there to be foam in the packaging, given that this is glass and it is quite fragile, but they just put it in bubble wrap. That's kind of funny. So first things first, we do have a couple of pieces of paper. So this is a little pamphlet about the kaleidoscope. So I'll have to translate that and read it later, but this is from Premico. We also have a little warning piece of paper probably saying, hey, this is fragile, be careful. I don't know what that one says. All right, so there's two pieces to this. First, we have the kaleidoscope, then we have the display stand. So I'll open the display stand. So there's a number on this, 501 out of 950. This tells you that there were 950 sold. This one was number 501. All right, so here we have the display. That's acrylic, so this part won't break as easily. On the front of it, it does say Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal 501 out of 950, so that is my lot number. And then we have the kaleidoscope. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope it's not broken. <laughs> it's not broken, yay, that's good. So it's supposed to go on the stand like so. Oh, and it fits perfectly, that's great. Okay, cool. So it looks really good on the stand, no issues there. If I tilt it sideways, you see that it just fits into that top slot of the acrylic and then it just shines like so, looks beautiful. Very reflective, very fingerprinty. So if you hold this in the center, you will get a lot of fingerprints on there. I really like that holographic kind of a prism color scheme going on in the center. That looks really pretty. This is a exact replica of what you would see in the movie and the manga. So I'm loving this. It's absolutely beautiful. However, I will say, if you were to purchase one of the ones in the manga, it was like 500 yen, $5. So we definitely paid a premium to Premico for this replica. So at the top, there's some little pieces of paper foil, which come in this really pretty holographic coloring scheme. So they do change color as you twist it back and forth. You also see some little charms in there. So there's a charm of the Ginzu Isho. We also have charms of the Crisis Moon Compact and the Chibi Moon Compact too. In the description online, they call this Stardust Objects, which is a really, really cute name for these. Now I heard that you can see Pegasus when you look inside of here. So I'm gonna look in before y'all get to look in, okay? Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, very purple. I wonder if that color is gonna come off the same color that I'm seeing it. Lots of pinks, lots of purples. Can I see any of the charms that are in the end of it? Not really. You can't really see those charms very well unless you twist it around a whole bunch. Oh, did I see the, I think I saw the Crisis Moon Compact for a second there. Yeah, every time you kind of change it around, the kaleidoscope vision that you see is going to change quite a bit. And there are little pegasuses. Pegasuses? Pegasi? There, there is a pegasus inside of here, but it's multiple of them. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. So it looks way better whenever you shine it straight into a light or slightly off kilter from a light so that you get a lot of that reflection. Ooh so beautiful. I'm never letting any children that I know touch this thing ever. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a microfiber towel and kind of wipe off the end because I did get some dust on there when I was touching it. And I want to show you the inside of this. Hopefully I can do this. Oh my god. <gasps> Look y'all. I'm trying to hold it steady. It's kind of hard to do since this is sideways for me at the moment. But do you see the little pegasuses? 
around the edges and the color change that happens in the center. Wow. Oh, here, let me see if I can hold it closer. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. Dude, this should be a background. I'm going to just hold it here and use that as like a background for my videos. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm impressed. This is absolutely beautiful. Now it is a triangle at the top, top, as you can see here. So it's a little hard to keep in the center of the lens since the lens is a sphere. It's a circle. Let me see. If I twist it around, you definitely see a color change. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Are y'all enjoying this as much as I am? Because I am really enjoying this. Did anybody else out there order one of these? And if you have, have you received it yet? So if I shake it a little bit, the image down at the bottom is going to change. So see how the image at the bottom changes a little bit? It looks like a different disco ball. <laughs> I just love how many instances you see of Pegasus on the inside. That is just... <gasps> Amazing, wow, this is beautiful. I'm so glad I can capture this on video for y'all. I'm just obsessed. This is like when I saw the eclipse for the first time many years ago back in, uh, where was that, Oregon? And there was somebody in the background of my video who went, totality, it was amazing. Like you could totally feel the passion that people had for it. And I feel like that when I'm looking in here, I'm just like, wow, it's just beautiful. I have so much more appreciation now that I'm able to see it in person. At first I was like, $300? Okay, but mm, I don't know about that. Because I like buying proplicas and replicas and stuff like that. But now that I've gotten to see it in person, I'm just like, okay. I mean, this is a handmade piece and I understand the appreciation. I understand the quality now, now that I've gotten to see it in person. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy that it didn't break on its transit over here from Japan because oh, if it did, I'd be I was going to try to show you where Pegasus is, but there's a little image of Pegasus right in there. Oh, there you go. You can see it right there. That's Pegasus right there. So that is the mirror image that you see reflected everywhere inside of the kaleidoscope. I'm going to put this down before I break it because knowing me, I would. All right. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and that review of the gorgeous, gorgeous glass kaleidoscope replica from Sailor Moon Eternal. I know I did. I'm so happy that I finally got it. I was really worried that it would break, but it didn't. It looks gorgeous. I'm going to microfiber clean it again and then stick it back here in a very special place. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. If you haven't already, it's at Sailor Snubs. That's where you will see pictures of this kaleidoscope as well as my other merchandise items. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. I am so excited because I'm going to do a giveaway pretty soon since I hit 6,000 followers on this channel. I also hit, what was it? I also hit 4,000 over on Instagram. So I'm definitely going to do some big giveaway again <laughs> for that. I like doing giveaways whenever I hit those kind of goals. It's pretty exciting. And it's a way to give back to y'all since y'all are putting time into watching my videos and you're putting in time into checking out my Instagram. So I really appreciate it as a full-time content creator. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs and I'll see you next time. Johnny.